Good evening. The new government website for up to 10 million key workers and their families. Good evening. Not since the founding of the NHS has it been put under such pressure. This is ITV News at 10 with Julie Etchingham. Good evening. Having struggled back from the effects of coronavirus himself, the Prime Minister... The coronavirus death toll is a preventable one. Good evening. The scale of suffering in Britain's care homes has been glimpsed in recent weeks. On Five News, the moment of maximum risk. The Prime Minister says it's not time to lift the lockdown yet. Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Danny Sinha. It's seven o'clock, this is Sky News Tonight with me, Dermot Murnahan. The top story, a boost for the NHS. Vital services like cancer treatment, fearing she would die. A very good evening, a moment of maximum risk. That was the warning from the Prime Minister. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. The Prime Minister will give more details this afternoon. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. The government has laid out in more detail. This is the ITV Lunchtime News with Nina Hussain. Good afternoon. Politicians from all parties have congratulated the Prime Minister... This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. The government says a new accurate... Good evening. From the outset, the fear was the coronavirus pandemic would totally overwhelm. It's Friday evening. Hello and welcome to The Nine.
The coronavirus pandemic has claimed lives, devastated families. Good evening. It's one of Scotland's worst clusters of coronavirus cases. Good evening, Noswaitha. Details about how Wales will begin to emerge from the coronavirus restrictions have been published. Good evening. Cases of coronavirus are likely to peak from May. Nos oedd aeth chi, mae yna bosibl roedd y bydd rhai o'r cyfyngiadau'n ymwneud ar argyfwng coronafairos yng Nghymru. A warm welcome to Monday's programme with me, Alex. It's good to have your company. And we've got lots to come tonight. Good afternoon. Researchers in Plymouth are trying to develop a test. Hello, good evening. I'm Charlie McArdle. First on the programme tonight. Patients recovering from COVID-19 are being warned it could take... Good evening, people living in isolation who've struggled with mental health. Good evening. P&O Ferries has been accused by the RMT union. Hello and welcome to the programme. Good to have you with us. We start tonight... First tonight, it's the day many people in England were in...
Good evening. First tonight, as another sunny bank holiday weekend approaches. Good evening. Business leaders in the region say more needs to be done. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Friday's programme with me, Anne Davis. Well, first tonight, a care home manager. Well, the government's been meeting today to review whether it's safe. Patients in Hull with symptoms of coronavirus are... First tonight, the number of people claiming unemployment benefits in Yorkshire. Police divers have spent the day searching a lake and waterways. Hello and welcome to Look Around, half an hour of news for Cambria and the south of Scotland. Hello, good evening. More than a thousand people... Good evening, welcome to ITV News. This is Thursday night's calendar with John Shires. Hello and welcome to a news update from Granada Report. Hello, good evening. A consultant from the Birmingham Women and Children's Hospital. Good evening, welcome to ITV News Anglia. Here's a look at tonight's main stories. Tonight, a son's tribute to his mother who died.
Hello and welcome to Tuesday's programme live across the southwest. Hello, this is ITV News Meridian, the headlines this Friday evening. Hello there and welcome to ITV News, the headlines on channel this evening. Good evening, you're watching BBC Newsline. The headlines this Tuesday evening. A further 20 deaths linked to the coronavirus. Hello and welcome. You're watching UTV Live at 6. Good evening, I'm Paul Clark. Good afternoon. Brighton and Hove City Council say that their schools may not open again. <laughs> 